Wallpapers for sure. Um, not the fastest hand in the world, but Zertal with some removal into a Scarfing Hellkite and a Gem Razor. Pretty good. We'll take it. Uh, Stomping Ground tapped. Past the turn. Looks like opponent's probably playing mono red, so we'll just make it a 3-3. Uh, three, three. Make it a little harder for him to kill. And welcome to the stream, anybody who's watching. Uh, remember, I've got codes for some new subscribers and new uh, followers, so uh, if uh, you're new to the stream, hit that follow button and I'll throw you a new code for Arena. And we're working towards earning another 50 tonight so that we can give them away all next week as well. Okay, fine. Uh, I think here we probably just play out the Bone Crusher. It's a big boy, it's going to be hard for them to kill. Okay, they have a Bone Crusher of their own, it's fine. We'll Domri's Ambush. Uh, take four damage if we ambush here. I guess it's worth it, because then we hit them for five anyway. And then next turn we can Scarf and Hellkite, so pretty demanding, a pretty commanding lead here. Okay, hit me for one. Is that the plan? Okay. And they hit. Okay, Double Fever and Champion is fine. I'm gonna make this Scarf and Hellkite a five-five though, so. I can kill those next turn. Two, four, five. Um, down like a Torbrin would be ten. If they put down that, um, yeah, I think we're okay. Now I see you in a new light. We're getting closer. There's a spark of light in the world. All right, Torbin. Okay, so they've got 10 damage tops here. Next turn I can kill two with just the Scargan Halkite if I want to. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Just go off like that, I think. He's got plus three plus three for one mana, that's fine. I think we just kill these. Um, we'll swing in for five with Skargan Hellkite, but I'm on a one turn clock. If we attack with both, he has to block, but there's a chance he could just blow me out with some type of trick, and I don't want to take the chance. Okay. Two, four, so he doesn't have enough mana to Ember Cleave. He just dead. Okay, light up the stage and see what happens. Now he's dead. Okay, Scargan Hellkite coming out big there. Welcome to the stream. If you're a follower, say hi in chat and I will throw you a code. If you're not, hit that follow button so that you can grab one. Uh, I still got lots of codes to give away. Thank you very much, Red Thistle. Appreciate it. Alright, definitely want those Red Cat Melees. Probably some Flame Sweeps. Uh, 
um, a couple of flame coils, or lava coils. Uh, take out some of the pelt collectors here. They're just kind of slow and against his one ones. Um, what else we got here? Got to cut three. Probably cut one ember cleave on the draw. I'm really loading up here on removal. I suppose I could cut the phoenixes because they're also not that great on the draw. And welcome to the stream. I uh, do have lots of uh, arena codes to give out to subscribe or to uh, followers, so feel free to hit that follow button, get yourself some arena codes. I uh, just got accepted into the uh, Wizards Creator Program, so I'm going to be streaming a lot more arena. I uh, also will be uh, doing the early streamer events in a couple of weeks for uh, M21 as well, so uh, lots of stuff to give away in the near future, so please hit that follow button. Alright, uh, this hand's pretty good. We've got the red cap for anything early that they do uh, into a Gruel Spellbreaker and then a Questing Beast, so I'm pretty happy with this. Nice if we drew a 2-drop um, just to have another blocker, but I'm okay with this hand for now. See what they do. Plus, a lot of their smaller creatures in the early game are like 1-1s, one so... Okay, I think I'm just going to temple here, see if I can hit a flame sweep. I don't really particularly want to waste my red cap melee on Scorching uh, Spitter, or Scorch Spitter rather. Uh, I will hit the Runaway Steam Cam with it for sure though. It's a much better target. Cool, cool, cool. All right, next turn we've got a 4-4 Spellbreaker, which is kind of big for this deck to get through. Okay. Another light at the stage. Definitely can't cast the Torbran. Or maybe hit the land off the top and cast it next turn, but still not going to get him that far. We get to go 4 4 Gross Ball Breaker into a Questing Beast, which is pretty sweet. I've got lots of arena codes to give away, so if you want one, just shout out in chat and they're all yours. Still got, uh, I think, seven or eight to give away, so. Definitely has a trick here, right? Or is he just attacking so he could light up the stage again? Either way, I think we block. If he wants to do two or waste two cards killing one Gruel Spellbreaker when I'm about to hit Questing Beast potentially into a Skargan Hellkite, then that's fine by me. Okay. Okay, so I think that's all four light up the stage now. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm the beat down now. Okay. Two, four, can't play the Ember Cleave this turn for sure. Red Cap's fine. If he has another Red Cap he wants to sack the land to get rid of the Questing Beast, that's probably fine. So I'll just play out a Gem Razor as another 4-4, four, four, which is, again, really hard for him to get rid of. has any significant tricks that I'm worried about. One plus shock doesn't do it. So he hits me for three total, loses a creature. Pretty good attack for me. 
Okay, so now we have a backup. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I'll gem Razor as a 4-4 four four here. Get him with Questing Beast. One turn clock, especially with Red Cat Melee, or Melee so uh, he's got to find a blocker for this Questing Beast. I'm not even sure what he's got in his deck that blocks it. I guess that does it. Okay. Good game. Um, the Amex, uh, one ones don't have uh, blocking, so he's dead there 100%. So 